Hello guys, welcome back. As you can probably tell from behind me, the mutated turdon that we hatched in the last episode is now fully grown. Um, I nicknamed it Blue Jay. I felt that was the most fitting for such a birdie. Um, and the good thing is, is we can actually level speed on this guy, which is exactly, well, I said this guy, it's a she. And that's exactly what we're going to level on it, because I want to use her to just get around the map a little bit quicker and uh, scout it out and look for things mainly. Um, I've been pretty busy, and I'll show you what I mean by that here now. So, we've got a new part of the base. Got four refining forges on the go for a lot more metal, because now we've got the RG, I can carry a hell of a lot more back. So, I've been going gathering a bit of that. Decided to make a fabricator because we're going to need an aircon unit if we're going to want to start hatching the eggs a little bit easier and not have to rely on current temperatures and etc. We are level 65 at the moment and we need to try and get to 90 so we've got the egg incubator because that will allow us to see what mutations it's got, what level it is, it just saves hatching them and you can destroy them in that and it's, yeah, it's much easier. Uh, here I'm going to put some compost bins in. Um, so and then I'm going to put a ramp up through here so we can just have an easy access to the greenhouse with the fertilizer etc um, and then yeah I've put a ladder in here don't know what I'm going to do with it yet but I like the idea that we could eventually build further up and have it like kind of showing up above the roof here uh, maybe potentially building into the canyon there at some point I don't 100% know but yeah that's fun but well they're crafting more eggs we actually have a fair bit now if I show you Oh, there we got all them eggs uh, stacked up. But I thought we would take you over to Herbivore Island, where I actually found the two pterodons that we ended up taming. Um, we're not going over there for more pterodons this time. This time, I thought um, I'd show you just how easy it is to tame a lot of good dinosaurs over there. Like a lot of people do make the bases over here, but the problem with that is you tend to cut off the resources from respawning. Um, because it's got metal over there, it's full of trees, full of grass, like it's just it's got everything you need for a starter base, and the biggest thing you've got to worry about is Brontosaurus is trying to wreck your base by accidentally t attacking one. But yeah, I thought I would take you over there because there's a tame that for early on in the game can become really helpful if you know where some metal nodes are and it's an ankylosaurus so we're going to go over there and we're going to tame up ideally we want to tame up a male and female because we need now to, we now need to start looking at kibble um, and we've only really got uh, tiny kibble resources the dodo, the dilo, pterodon uh, in fact not pterodon's class is medium but a lot of the dinos that we want to tame at the moment are small egg based uh oh, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Really bad, really bad, really bad, really bad, really bad, really bad, really bad. I stopped paying attention. We're running out of stamina. There's a shark there. Try and just land in the water somewhere where there's no sharks. <laughs> uh oh, can we make it? Is the question. Come on, Blue Jay, you can do this. You can do this. Of course, the land is over to the left, but that's where that shark is, so really don't want to have to be doing that. Just worried that if I jump off, he will search for the nearest land, and the nearest land might not be anywhere near us. I will be honest. Still do need to tame up a stego, uh, probably a male parasaur as well. But well, we'll get round to all these things. Might do some off cam because we have already got a parasaur. It's just, and I can see an anki already, which is great. Uh, so as you can see, there's an absolute ton of pterodons as well around here, which is why we was able to find it so easily. Look at that, we got there just in time. Whew, that was close. So look at some of these. Level 45. Oh well, 15. Level 15. Level 10. So yeah, there's a lot of them that are really low level. But there's that many of them, there's a good chance you'll find a high level. Um 
I probably won't because I did um, a level 130 and a level 140. So chances of me finding high level this time round is very slim. Right, need to get this guy somewhere safe. Don't want him being attacked. Yep. Yep. Let's have a look. Level 30 male. What level are you? Level 75 male. Alright, okay. Well, we're obviously going to take the level 75. Should take about nine darts from my calculations. Don't know what level that one is. There's a good chance it's going to attack me though. Just because I'm peppering this guy with tranks. Yep, there it is, and it's a female, which is excellent. Let's get this one out first. Looks like it's already on its way, which is good. Go on, fall asleep, don't go in the water. There we are. Hoping that that's not classed as being in the water. It shouldn't be. Alright, no. What level are you? 30 female. That's not bad. I'll take it. Females only for the eggs. Let's try and keep them close to each other. That way we don't have to move too far to tame them both up. What's stopping me? You. running which means that she's nearly out and she's out stick half of them on there Let's see the other half on this guy what's his weight stat 305 they're really great I don't know why Four point two percent. Wow, really? That all? What level's the big guy? One two five or what? Should we tame it while we're here? Don't want to be doing it while we're near this guy. Let's have a look at what it'll take. Pontosaurus level one two five will take. Take 45 minutes to tame. We wouldn't need any narcotics, or, but <laughs> we'd need 77 trank darts, so yeah, we don't have enough, I'm afraid. But at least we know it's here. 25, 55, 55. Alright guys, well, what I'll probably do is I'm going to leave them to tame up and then I'll bring you back once once we've tamed them up unless something happens in between I'll tell you what, what level is this Fiomi? 15, no we do need a Fiomi as well might even tame this one while we're here yeah, why not just because we can leave two inside generating eggs and then use one to farm metal. Oh, where the hell did you come from? Didn't hit that try, did I? Oh, thank God for that.
Sit down, boy. I'm going to have to knock them both out now just so that I don't end up getting hassled by them. I think I'll tame this one, though, because I like the colours of it. Yep, need some berries. It's not an issue. Where did it go? There it is. Oh, this one's a level 20. Yeah. All right, all right, I'll bring you back when these are all done. And do we tame up one of these? Uh, don't have my balls and it'll just run away, so I can't. Well, I've just found a level 145 female pterodon, which we weren't going to tame, but if I had trying to at it and I thought I'd knock it out in one, and it didn't, but oh well. Pump that in there. We've got two of the Yankees tamed up, there's just one more left that I'm going back for now, which I'm pretty sure should be either done or nearly done. Um, so we'll get them back, grab a saddle, and uh, we're going to farm some metal with it. Where the hell is it? There it is. I think this is it. Is it? Yeah, there it is. No. There we go. All right, let's get back to base. Let's remember not to get caught out by the stamina this time. I think I've got an apprentice saddle as well in the um, smithy for an Anki. So that should save us some crafting materials. Now you're probably wondering why I'm grabbing the RG, but you'll see why. Might not even need to go up to where I was thinking of going up, but we will do, just to grab some more metal, because we, we do need it. Then we'll take it back and I'll get it smelting, and we'll wrap things up there for the day. I will continue to breed up the Turidons, and then I think next port of call will probably be Sabertooths. It's got to be that we've got to go and get some of them. Like I'm going to have to scout around the map, finding some high level ones. Ideally a 150 or two, male and female. And is there a yellow drop down there? I think there is. So before we go for that, that's what we're going to get. No, oh, no, it's not yellow. That's disappointing. Alright, there we go. This is the metal zone. Let's just dump him out. Bang! It's destroying all the stones that we don't want first. Typical. And as you can see, it reduces the weight of stone significantly. But what we do now is we get back on the RG. We grab the metal and oh, of course. Back in a minute. Really? Can't do this then. Now I've lost the metal. Where has it gone? There. So the RG has a metal reduction as well, but it's just by nowhere near the amount of the Yankee. I think the Yankee's got. It's like it will take all that as well. Because we're going to need all that. 
So you can do this on a Quetz as well, um, but Argies just move faster, so that's why I use Argies, especially if you can get an Argy with like over a thousand weight, you're absolutely laughing. So yeah, I'm going to go back to base guys, I'll get all this metal smelting like I said, and um, yeah, we're at the point where we need to start getting tames that we can take into caves and start getting gear together that we can take into caves. Um, Sabretooth will be fine just for, we need, well, Sabretooth is a stimulant really for the cave near us because there's a lot of uh, attacks that try and put your dino to sleep. But if we can do that, get down there, clear everything out, grab the artifact, get back up, we're good to go. I think we've got to grab the artifact a few times, so, but I can probably do a few more runs in between videos. I'll get the base expanded so we've now got a fully working farm for crops. Um and yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what happens from there. If you've enjoyed watching, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, and I'll see you next time.